God, it's too late. It's time to load it up again with more goods. has arrived. The delicious ambrosia has made me immortal. Though I could have used fondest greetings, I am happy to say that immortality agrees with me, and I am doing quite well conducting godly acts. I see that the crown of leadership fits you, Kirby. You are masterfully leading the kingdom of Atlantis, and all of your uncles, dutifully leading kingdoms of their own, have told me that they are thrilled with your performance. Best of all, you are setting a fine example for your people by honoring the Symphonia Ithacos. All in Atlantis are following suit, and we gods could not be more pleased with the results. With you at the helm, the future of Atlantis is bright. I am proud to be your says we would often be sorry if our wishes were gratified. This city fulfills my wishes and I am not sorry. Who am I, Odysseus? How much longer do I have to travel before I reach my destination? And where's Calypso? I will summon forth Talos to help you through your troubles. is as wonderful as a golden apple. This city is the pride of the world. I can't imagine a better place to live. Heavens, there aren't nearly enough people in this city to adore me. I like nothing better than seeing scores of mortals worshipping me. This city is more refreshing than any other city, and its leader is the most sparkling. I will endow some hunters with my steady aim, and they will bring back an excess of meat. Itself. It is the finest ever! It was a pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> I hope Aeolus guides us home. Herodotus is sure to record this city as the best and you as its greatest ruler. The only room for these goods in the city is right here in my cart.
Urchins, fish and horses are in my domain and multiply when I bid them to.